So I got up this morning and made my first cup of coffee, grabbed me a honey bun, and then went to my computer to read some stuff to prepare for the day. So I'm checking out various Linux news sites, Linux forums, Linux communities, and I noticed something. Most Linux users act like spoiled children, and by spoiled children I mean they want more. They constantly want more. More, 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 right? When I say spoiled child, you guys know what a spoiled child is. It's that child that demands something, and for whatever reason, some parents <laughs> give their children everything they ask for, and it really spoils the child because, you know, the more they give this child stuff, the more that child wants, right? It demands even more stuff and they become like a crack addict, right? You know, they become addicted to demanding stuff and you giving it to them. I mean, you guys see spoiled children in real life. I mean, let me ask you a question. You guys that have children and you've been around children, maybe you got young nieces and nephews, grandchildren. When a, a, a child is constantly asking for stuff and you give them stuff, is that child more likely or less likely to ask for some more stuff in the future, right? More likely. And that's kind of how we have become in the Linux community because Linux has become such a fantastic operating system. The best operating system on the planet, the most features, it does so much stuff. And, you know, it's, it's really spooled its community, right? Because now Linux does so much for us, we demand that much more from it. And because of that, sometimes us in the Linux space, I'll include myself, sometimes we don't act appropriately, right? Sometimes we don't realize how, how much like spoiled children we sound sometimes making some outrageous demands. Now, I don't want to imply that everybody in the Linux community that wants more out of Linux, that's you know, striving to make Linux better, that these people are spoiled children, because many of these people, you know, will point out the flaws in Linux. They'll point out areas where we could improve. And then those people are actively trying to achieve those results, you know, to achieve the desired result. Those are not spoiled children. The spoiled children are the ones that demand something out of Linux. You know, I need Linux to do this. And then they have absolutely no interest in actually trying to achieve that themselves. Uh, in many cases, they wouldn't even know how to begin. They just want something and they want it now, right? Spoiled children. And while I find the people that act like this annoying, it does make me smile, though, when I see these people on the Internet because... It is a sign that we're succeeding. You know, the, the fact that we have so many of these spoiled brats out there, that's a sign of Linux's success. Because let's face it, Linux is the most popular operating system on the planet by far. Countless billions of devices, everything from servers, personal computers, laptops, mobile devices, all your phones, all your tablets, uh, Internet of Thing devices, appliances. Heck, Linux is probably installed in your car. Right? It's installed in your microwave. Like Linux is everywhere. And because of that, we expect even more out of Linux. If Linux was a garbage operating system that barely did anything, nobody would demand anything of it. N nobody would expect anything of it. There are plenty of operating systems out there that are much more niche operating systems that don't give you nearly the amount of features of Linux, the amount of coverage as far as Linux is a really a jack of all trades, master of everything kind of operating system where, you know, other operating systems don't have this the spooled mentality, the spooled brat mentality. For example, I've never seen a NetBSD user <laughs> acting like a spooled child, right? Because NetBSD, much more niche operating system, it doesn't do a whole lot, so its users are really not expecting much more from it in the future. I don't see any spooled Haiku users out there. For those of you not familiar with that operating system, Haiku is a free and open source operating system. It looks like something out of the 1980s. It's still a single user operating system, right? No one is demanding more from Haiku. Even Windows users, they don't act spoiled because Windows users, they don't get much from Windows as far as customization and flexibility. Windows is one of those operating systems. It comes to you. What you see is what you get. There's not much more to it, right? So you can't really demand much more from Windows than what's already there. So in some ways, Linux being such a massive success has also led to what some people associate as a pretty bad community around Linux. I actually think the Linux community is great. I, I just think it's such a unique place because of, uh, again, the 
the free and open source nature and, and just the uniqueness, especially when you contrast it from proprietary operating systems like Windows and Mac. But what do we do to get rid of this spoiled, ungrateful mentality that many of us within the community have? And I'm, I'm going to include myself in this because as I'm recording this video, I'm sitting here thinking back and I have to evaluate some of my past behavior too. And if you're watching this and you're thinking back at some of the times where you've demanded stuff, you know, out of the community, you know, how do we correct this problem? How do we get around this? How do we solve this problem? Well, I think more of us need to start being grateful for the things we have. And this isn't just about trying to improve one standing within the Linux community. I really think that being grateful for the things that you have is truly one of the biggest improvements that you can make in your life. And more of us need to start actively practicing this. It needs to be something that you do daily. On a daily basis, you need to make it a point to express your gratitude to others, to your friends, to your family, to your coworkers, to anybody that has done anything that you should be grateful for in life. Actively express that gratitude to others every day. Or if you don't want to express it to others, express it in private, maybe write it down. Those of you that keep notes or a journal or a diary, make it a point, you know, once a day, maybe before bed, jot down two or three things that you are truly grateful for, maybe because of things that happened that day that, hey, you know what? This was a really great thing that happened to me today. I'm grateful for this, this thing, this person, you know, this, this group of people, whatever it happens to be. If you make this a daily thing where you're truly grateful about stuff every day, then naturally that ungrateful kind of spoiled attitude will dissipate. Unfortunately, it's all too common in humanity. All of us take way too much for granted. Some of us take everything for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Don't take the luxuries you have in life for granted. Don't take the love of your family for granted. And honestly, don't take the improvements and the joy that Linux has brought into your life for granted. All right, guys. Peace.